Oh, hey. I'm just uh, doing some repairs to a 3D print that my son made and I broke. So I'm going to be fixing this while I talk to you a little bit about some upcoming events that you can see me at. I'm going to be going to a number of fairs and conventions and that sort of thing over the summer. And I want to tell you about a few of them. And then maybe we'll duck into the Discord channel and see what's up. <music> The tongue is an important part of any repair job, and I really do like this decal pen. It's it's great for small jobs like this. Okay, the first event I need to tell you about is on March 9th in Orem, Utah at the Orem Library. It's a small, intimate little local event where I've been asked to do a presentation about why 3D printing is so cool. Even if it's just local people who I'm introducing to 3D printing, it will not be a waste. I'm going to have a good time, but there are some bigger events going that I'll tell you about in just a second. Always cut your filament at an angle because either your 3D printer cares, in which case you need to print it at an angle, or it doesn't, in which case you could do whatever you want. You know, you can stop whenever you want. You don't have to be reversing all day long. Okay, now the next event to tell you about is the Midwest Rep Rat Festival on March 29th and 30th. I won't be staying for the 31st as I do, you know, but I will be there for March 29th and 30th, and I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of people. I'm just planning on attending as an attendee, so I'm going to have to hope to run into people but uh, I'm going to try to organize some sort of impromptu, like choose a corner and say, hey, be here at this time and we'll all take a picture together or something like that. As for what else I'm going to do while I'm there, I I'm not sure. Last year, my Bay Area Maker Fair footage wasn't super well received. People, I don't know, don't want to watch it. I'll certainly have a blog post, tons of pictures about it. But whether I'm going to set up and actually do... A video about it I'm kind of undecided on so let me know what you guys think I should do at the Midwest Rep Rep, Rep Festival and whether you're going to be there oh, this boy's gonna need a lot of filament around the middle Okay, part of this was actually a bad print on his part, so I'm making this print actually work, and it's going to need some more sanding and cleaning off, but you know, that's what post-processing is for. We do lots of that. So, speaking of the Bay Area Maker Fair, I am also going to be attending that. I'm also not particularly planning on having a booth or anything like that while I'm there. I'm just going to be attending as an attendee. I have, however, put in to be a part of a couple of panels and we'll see if they accept my application and I'll get to be there as part of a panel. That is on May 17th and 18th. Again, I won't be there on the 19th. I hope to meet a lot of people while I'm there. I hope to be a part of a lot of get togethers and stuff like that. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. This last piece is blue, but it's glued onto the green. So should I glue it on with green or with blue? I've got green loaded. We're going to do this sucker in green. All right. I hope that that's it. That looks like it's all together. A little bit of cleanup around the middle, but otherwise, I think my son did a pretty good job of printing this out. He even changed colors four times in here so that's super that's a pretty good little little model for him i i hope that he enjoys that after i do some cleanup or maybe i'll make him do the cleanup he's going to be pretty excited you know what it's like you see a cool new filament and you want to try it out but as you're hovering over that buy button you remember the last three spools of fancy filament that you bought used for that one thing and haven't used since
It sounds like you need the 3D Printing Professor Filament of the Month Club. Each month you'll receive a generous coil of just the good stuff. Enough to work with it, but not so much that you'll feel guilty later. Thanks, 3D Printing Professor. Wait, that's me. Join the Filament of the Month Club today. Let's jump into the Discord channel, see what's happening on what you're making, and see what people are making right now. Daug is 3D printing with the color changing filament that he got as his part of the filament of the month club, a low poly squirtle, which is adorable. Mr. Peanut is also working a little bit more on his enclosure that we saw a little bit of last time and it's looking really good. Nafi is showing what he's making with the color changing filament, again from the filament of the month club. I'm glad you guys are enjoying that filament. The new shipments should be going out this month. We have a very cool multicolored glitter filament. It's purple with gold glitter in it, but last month was a color changing one. Seems you guys are enjoying it. I did too, it's, it's really cool. X Chrisman P, which I mispronounced last time, but made this absolutely amazing dragon model, which you have got to check out, and which he uploaded to Thingiverse. It's it looks gorgeous. So yeah, you guys should check that model out, and if you are so inclined, print it out. Beautiful model though. Seriously, X Chrisman P, well done. Haprog joined the Discord just to tell us about the shopping cart with heart emblem on it that he uploaded to Thingiverse. I, I love the sharingness of this community. It's what makes it great. So, and a beautiful little model, Haprog. Deglo modeled a trident gun holder. I don't know what a trident gun is. It sounds terrifying, but it looks like it will also hold little uh, gum of some sort there. And Hack Monkey. Ah, oh, buddy is making a mess. Failed prints that wrap around the print head are the worst. I, I have one that it was a huge print and it just kept on going and going around the edge. I called it Burrito Night at the HR Geiger household. Haprog is also modifying a design that he found on Thingiverse that you put around your filament and put a sponge in it and it cleans the, the dust and stuff. I love Deglow's tower of prints. It looks like like when a print fails, it, it's got a flat top, so he just... <laughs> it's beautiful. And, oh, I love this glowing oil bottle organizer. That it's, It organizes oil bottles around the bottom, but then it's got the cauldron sitting on top that are bubbling. I wonder how he's getting that bubbling. Oh, it's got a, it's got a diffuser in it. I love Doom. Uh showed this cool little print that he made a while ago it's one of those it's one of those three-wheeled cars that they have in thailand or somewhere that's certainly not common where i'm from and then also some uh bubble blowers he 3d printed bubble blowers because why not because you can sure yes do it i love it now Thai also uh, demonstrated some 3d prints that he had been doing with different filaments i love these little these little swatches that he's making because they you you pick them up you're like what kind of film oh he put the name in the film that is super super cool Nafi a lot of work to do it but well done Nafi Hack Monkey showed off another print for the Alien 3D project it's going at a really hard angle but it's printing Hack Monkey also is showing us a print a Benchy that he did with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle made those layers just as chunky as he could do. And while not the chunkiest layers I've ever seen, I do kind of enjoy the aesthetic of a print that is not hiding its layers, but in fact, reveling in them. Deglo has a enviable print station. I mean, be honest, don't you want a situation like that? That is absolutely gorgeous. And Deglo is continuing to work on his uh, oil organizer diffuser except now he's making it a dragon that spits uh, smoke out his nose which is absolutely gorgeous I actually have a diffuser project that I, I want to share with you guys but it's, it's, it's more failure than success so as soon as I get that succeeding you guys will get to see a smoking dragon but or not dragon volcano I'll make a smoking volcano kiwi frog it made a useful print he had a part for a stereo that was broken and he recreated it and 3d printed it i love i love prints like this now the problem with prints like this 
is that they're not flashy. It's it's a very functional part. People are going to look at this part and go, yeah, whatever, and scroll past it. But you know what? Take a second to revel in this. This is cool. This is this is what 3D printing is really capable of. Scarcity? Can't buy it into store. It doesn't exist anymore. Forget that. We will make it happen. And then just today, as of this recording, Deglo is sharing a fully printable candy dispenser vending machine with a ton of different parts. Looks like a big project. If you've got a cool project that you're working on, please feel free to stop by the Discord channel, hang out and what you're making, and I look forward to seeing what are you making. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there. Haprog, join the discard and discard. Mm.